Alright, hello Wastelanders and welcome back to the next episode of our Wasteland 3 Let's Play series. I am joined by Game Hunter and we are playing through this in a co-op fashion. Uh, we are going to be, I don't know, he's nothing I don't think. I don't think he amounts to anything. We are heading to Union Station. I think actually we needed to go around this way. And kind of up yeah, through here. No. To rescue this Morning Star, or at least try to rescue Morning Star. There's something there. Would not be a bad idea if we could hit up a. What's that place? Oh, it's right here. I was kind of <laughs> hoping we would have. Well, we can use food items to heal if we need to, so. In we go, yes. No, turn the radio off. Enter area. Turn the radio off, thank you. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Whoa. Doors are opening automatically. Hey, Mr. Fish Lips. Who the fuck are you? This is Hardhead Turf. Ah, uh, we're the Desert Rangers. Maybe you've heard of us. The Desert Ra- Wait a minute. Are you the guys who made hamburger out of the Giffers? Oh, I didn't think anyone would take those assholes down. Ah, but so what? You're dealing with the Hardheads now. So tell me. What the what? fuck are you doing in our territory? Uh, we're just looking around. <laughs> well, get an eyeful then. Because I'll be the last thing you'll ever see. Why uh, are you swimming we... here? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. The first aid. Yeah, killing us isn't going to help you much by the looks of those holes in your face. You're days away from death by infection. Oh, go fuck yourself. Wait, you're, you're serious. <clears throat> you know, I, I have been feeling a little funny lately. Dead serious. Those rancid wounds are poisoning you. You need to, our help right now, but no deal unless you let us into the station. Oh, damn it! I knew I was sick! Okay, assholes. Fix me up, and you can do what you need to do. But we'll be watching you. No problem. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna run in and bobble him to wellness, apparently. Alright, now we can look around. Hey, the stink is gone. Hey, there you go. Maybe not put so many holes in your dang lips with dirty needles, huh? <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of people here. Oh. Do we have, um... Oh, there we go. We have a little bunny friend this episode. Appears our cat got murdered in the last one. <laughs> go figure. Anything around here we can loot, or... Look at not really. I think what we need to do is head back. Yeah. Come at last. Thank God and the elder statesman. There's a particular terminal you'll need to access to free me from this prison. I've activated a radio beacon marking its location. Roger that we're on our way. Godspeed, Rangers. <laughs> Good night. Alright, I'm gonna open this door. I think there's a fight in here. Yeah. Oh, there's, uh, I can disarm that. With Quan. She taps her glasses. Desert Rangers? Here? You're amazing. Uh oh. Did you get past fish lips? Um, 
<laughs> yeah. Are. We've got any glasses for sale. <laughs> I think this is a fight we have to do, so I'm just going to say we're the ones you need to worry about. <laughs> she wanted to, she was going to go after fish lips anyway, so. Is not the best way to begin much better having the advantage, yeah. I think. Is that, that is an explosive barrel. And she is out of range. Dang. Alright, well, let me move up to you. She should not be out of range now. And she's in not. Go for another attack. And Muggins, you can attack too. Alright, let me... No, let me save Muggins' points. So she can do a couple extra things next time. Quan is gonna have to move in. We'll go there. And then it would be nice if they kind of move forward and we can hit that barrel. There, she's dead. Yeah. And I only have three points, so I'm going to save them. Alright, your turn. I love this little mm. sheep in here. <laughs> Careful, there are still more <laughs> sneaky traps around too. I only got one of them disarmed. Yeah, so we can't go that way because we got a bloody trap. Mm-hmm. I did disarm the one over here, but yeah, right there. So I think I can actually that. I can, but there's nobody near it, is there? No, they're all clustered in the back. There's five of them left, it looks like. Three of them are clustered, four of them are clustered up right next to each other. That barrel in the back would be amazing if we could hit it. It'd yeah. Get three of them at least. All depends on which way they decide to move forward, I guess. Yeah. Oh. Something back there, too. Mm hmm. Okay, they're moving in. Oh, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Alright. Oh, nice the ambush worked. Oh, our bunny's in there. Looks like we're gonna lose the bunny early. Uh oh. Oh, they put a two dogs right in front of you. Oh no. Alright. Oh dang! Bunny just took him out. Almost. Oh yeah, bunny bunny for the win. Look at the bunny go. Party pals doing something. Oh, he went for the pup dogs or saw dogs. Nice. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what oh, that gosh. was about, but okay. Fine. I can attack you though. Oh, nice. And you are dead. I still nice. have a nine points. Where's the next one? To the uh, left. Yeah. Actually, I can go... Precision strike on your CPU. Nice. Did that take... That took it down, too, didn't it? And yeah. I still have five points. So, can I attack that? Hoo-hoo! All right, now I'm down to one, so I'm going to defend with that one. All right, Muggins, you can go right there. Ah, and I still have seven points, so I'll attack you again. And you're dead. I still have one point. I'm going to defend with her. So, Quan, you can take that out. Alright, nice. So, what if I go for that? Hmm, okay. There you are. I was kind of hoping it would hit him, but it didn't. Yeah. Alright, it was a risky shot. Alright, your turn. We've got three left. One's on this one is dead. Now he's got the other two. And a goat. <laughs> the other two and a goat. 
Oh, well placed grenade back there would have been good too. Yeah. Right, uh, he should be able to give this guy a good whacking. Oh, good. And another one. Nice. Down to one. And he's got a chance to give him a whacking as well. Oh, I think Lucy can finish him off. He's out of range, so. No, I didn't want to do that. Okay, I just let. <laughs> right, still got eight left, so put him out of his misery. Oh, the oh, goat's in on. the way. There we go. I think the goat was in the way. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so avoid that trap. Okay, you looting. You're looting. There's yeah, I looted most of them when I was just getting to that place. For some reason, you just asked about the loot of it. So. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, there's oh, something in some behind, more. yeah. I was going to look around in here first before we go back that way. Oh, yep, there's another pile we can loot. Alright, so this door is level 7 sneaky stuff. I don't have enough for that one. What about this door? Do you have level 7 explosives? Nope. Okay. So we can get in that one eye. Looks like we're going through the back then. Yeah. Uh. Why am I going through this quan? Uh, oh, here's another box we can loot. I missed it. Drug stash. Brain candy and Nico Pops. Dang it. Oh my gosh. No, no, I have any look with the old fire. No, get up, get up, get out, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. And oh, now we're in combat. Oh, okay. Alright, so I need to immediately. I, I have no points. I'm gonna die. Oh, great. My sniper has no points. What the heck? Ah, uh, Quan. Attack it. Come on, Quan. Be the hero. Thank you. <laughs> now I gotta get myself it's back up again. Yeah, I'm just... Alright, let me heal up. Good lord. <laughs> All oh, right, there we go. All sorted. And everybody's all healed. Oh, well, I need an injury coat. Uh... Yeah, we're definitely going to need... Yeah. There we go. There now all sorted. More yeah, more health. We're going to need more uh, injury kits and stuff. Fairly soon. Oh, there's something over here. Oh, there's a dig spot. Nice. Oh, another flamer that we're never gonna use. Money and armor mod. And some two armor mods. Nice. Alright, well we can't go down that way, so it means we have to go back this way. I'm gonna go up. Yeah, we have a dig spot up here. All kinds of good stuff. Anything else up here? Ooh. We got people up Anything ahead. We're going to have to fight them. Yeah. Oh, we've got health in here. Wait a minute. I got pulled into the conversation. Uh, are you done? All right, here we go. Hardhead, kill these jerks. We are back in combat again. I think. Maybe. No suffering doom on my side. Um, I think I need to go down. Right. We should be. Why can I not? I can't see the battlefield. 
it won't let me talk to him either. We should be in combat, and we're not. <laughs> Have you tried talking to him? Yeah, he just said he don't want to look for trouble. Okay. Maybe he doesn't want to fight. Anything... We can't do anything with that wall. No, that's level 7 as well. Yeah. Alright. Well, if he doesn't want to fight, then fine. But my... No box yeah, my view is really weird. It's not giving me the, um... Okay. They just didn't want to fight. No. Well, that's kind of sad. Not to sure. I needed him to fight. It won't so let me it. loot this. Oh, for God's Yeah, sake. I'm like stuck in combat. I, I should be in combat right now. Sure. Well, too bad, dude, because now that we are back... I think we, yeah, it's this one. We have to do this part all again. Yeah. So are those guys still up there? I don't know. What do you want me to do? You're going in? Oh, no. Can you, can you lockpick that door? I can do the yeah. terminal this time if you want. There you go. It doesn't matter. Yeah, there's a box there to loot if you want to do that. All right. Welcome to... Backup station Alpha. Supplies, right. So we need to go to this one. Are now accessible. Nice. You should now be able to access my prison beneath the ruins of Union City. Be advised that I have heard gunshots above me, hostiles, and I'll be in the area. I will now close this interface. See you soon. Alright. That is done. And we got that. Yeah, so now what we're going to have to do back. is go back up and then shoot that door. Do we still have our bunny? Uh, did did they kill our so. bunny? I think he got killed by a trap. Oh, no way, but he's still there with the robot because oh. he can't get down either. Oh, okay. Mm, no. Alright. So. And now I can't get up because everybody's standing at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Who is at the top of the stairs? I don't know. Good lord. You can only... There we go. Okay, so these guys aren't going to fight us. Hey, you hear something? I can't get up. Because he's standing in the way. Alright. Are we all up now? <laughs> no. yeah. Alright. That was just so weird. Who did you eat? What? Alright, so I think big guns are probably take out that door better than my little yeah. assault rifles. So I'll let you do that. Yeah, go ahead and shoot the door. Whoa, no, don't go through there. Oh, it's just an alarm. It's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, you that. got poisoned. Oh, um, Lucia's about to die. You better switch to her yeah. quick. Yeah. You'll have to use an antidote and give her, um, use the food to heal if you can. Alright, so now this is what we need. We need this mechanics level stuff. 9 for this. Oh, God. But I think this is something... I'm hoping... No. We do. We need mechanics level 9. So I think yes. we are kind of stemmed in here. Yeah, that's right. Because me mechanics is level 7. So I need to go two levels on mechanics. Hmm. Yeah, until we go up two levels on mechanics, there's no way we can get back there to unlock that door. Ah, oh, that's a pity. So, we're kind of stuck. Too bad we can't go out and kill fish lips for some experience. Mm. 
All right, so we're gonna have to actually come back and finish this at another time. Yeah. Wait a minute, what did that do? Wait a minute. Oh no, I can't, uh, yeah. I thought maybe I did something, but apparently I didn't. I opened a window. <laughs> That's what I did. Oh, <laughs> right. Well, hmm. We don't really have much we can do right now. Uh, War wagon. I guess we need to head off towards the next main quest. It looks like that's all we've got left to do, isn't it? Yeah, it's still high level for me. But I think we can get through it. So that's going to be the psychopath, Big Bam Buchanan. Um, yeah. He's in the town of Aspen, so we need to we need to find Aspen. Yeah, here we go. The patriarch told us he heard that Vic has some rangers held hostage, so the general's brother may be there. And we gotta look for Miriam Knox's husband while we're there too. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's go to Aspen then. Okay. Um. Not Technology. again. Are you joking, November one? <laughs> this was Arizona. I'd say you were suffering from a heat stroke. The distress call wasn't too clear on what these Martians are, but could be any manner of beast or monster. Advise checking it out. I think this bulb fellow will be happy to tell you more. Over and out. Alright, well. War of the Worlds. Locate the Teller Room Mine and the Distressed Miner. Okay, can we nope, look at the map for that? Oh, it's just up the road. It literally is just up the road. Oh, I see where Aspen no. is now. It's the Tellarine mine is kind of close to Aspen, so I think. Wait a minute, do I need to go? Okay, that sounds kind of Russian y. <laughs> I have never. Ooh, what's that? We have a box, yeah. Oh, $467? Heck yes. An abandoned building, a flimsy shack, it groans in the wind, four walls, and half a roof could be worse. Uh, search the place. Yeah. Time to see if anybody left anything interesting but behind. Level 5, a yeah, lock picking, you find a padlock stash. Nice. Tank helmet. Well, that paid mm. off. Oh, I wonder if that's... Oh, we got armor. I think I'm going yeah. to. The machine commune has launched a new program to ease tensions between machine life and human beings. The brand new human outreach gift shop sells collectibles for that special someone in your life. Also available, food and narcotics. The first location is mm. open, conveniently located in. Yeah, that's south. Let's um. Well, if it isn't the desert rangers. Nice yeah, you, you. you got you, some stuff to trade if you want to yeah. Fine. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in Colorado. Let's but I see no what you've got. Just some odds and ends I've taken in trade. Thank you. Let's sell our junk. <laughs> Exoskeleton level 26 armor, weird science though. Yeah, yeah, he actually gave us some better armor than I think what we had. We need to buy any hypos he has, though. Yeah. And probably oh. some injury kits as well, not mate. We've already got seven. Oh, yep. Injury kit. I think that's a 
fair trade. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we need to just go, it's like right, no, that's back into there. It's right around over here, I think. <laughs> Nope, don't care. It looks like it's like right over here. Maybe this is it. Is this it here? No, that's Denver. Okay, so I went the wrong way. Hold oh, on. No. Let me look at the map again. Map. That's Union Station. That's no, we're we're good. We just need to go up the road a little bit. Alright, Sal. Yeah. You're getting here. Roadkill. <laughs> we should be getting close. Yes. <laughs> Over. What the hell is that? Whoa. Got to be messing with that bloody big thing. I didn't even see it. Uh, let me check our map again. Yeah, we're like right in front of it. We just need to go right over here. It should be right in this area. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Here we go. Let's enter. A cabin in a canyon near a mine. Okay. It's all for the level up, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good night. Okay, dude. Sure am going to down see a bit, you, folks. Yes, sir. <laughs> we got a <laughs> genuine crisis here. Okay. You don't sound well, do you, mate? <laughs> no, he doesn't. The message we got said something about Martians. <laughs> Martians? <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Well, Martian robots, anyhow. Uh -huh. Don't know what else they could be. They showed up right out of the blue like they stepped off a flying saucer. Reckon the Martians want my Tolarian, so they sent their war machines to jump my claim. <laughs> this here's my Tolarian mine, you see. Well, mine and Trudy's. Don't know what I'd do without the old girl. <laughs> or <was> her <laughs> any man I ever saw, and you know, feared of nothing. Why, I once saw her bite a grizzly bear right on the ass. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> That must have been a sight. Folks around here call me Bull, <laughs> by the way. That's on account of the Tolarian. Makes you stink like garlic. <laughs> don't much bother me. Trudy don't <laughs> mind if you know what I mean. <laughs> there was a, oh, oh, me and Trudy was working at the mine, and all of a sudden these robots appeared. <laughs> One of them was as big as a house. Until right off, they weren't no scavengers. It was something else. So you're telling us the robots from Mars have taken over your <laughs> mind. How about, what's, uh, who's Trudy? Keeps on talking. Now, <clears throat> I bet you're <clears throat> asking yourself how an old prospector like Bob would know the difference between a Martian death machine and some old scavenger robot. Am I right? I suppose. We get scavengers poking around up here all the time. <clears throat> and Trudy can hear them rust buckets coming a mile off. Well, we leave out old parts or a few pounds of ore and they leave us be. Hmm. Not the Martians. Oh. <clears throat> no, sir. They turned up the scavengers got madder in a pack of wet hornets. They came at the Martians from all directions. Well, me and Trudy caught in the middle. I told the old girl to hightail it out of there, but Trudy was fit to raise hell. And you can't tell her nothing when she's got her dander up. <laughs> <laughs> I ran down here to call for help. And I've been waiting on you folks ever since. I ain't seen Trudy for a while now. And I'm getting worried. <laughs> Can you do something about these dang robots? 
Uh, yeah, I, we'll take care of it, I guess. Yeah. I don't think he's gonna ask answer our questions. The minute I laid eyes on you, yes, sir. <laughs> in the right frame of mind. Mine's just over that hill yonder. Find Trudy and chase them dang robots off my claim. <laughs> One more thing. If you find Trudy, if you do well, you know. Mm. I'd appreciate it if you bring your necklace back. There's some codes written on it that I need to run the mine. If you kept them safe for me. I'll be waiting here when you're done. Good luck up there. Okay. Well, here we go. <laughs> uh static and made him noises. Okay. Game saved. Oh yeah, let me drop a quick save. Oh no, I can't. Yeah. I think it's saving still. I'll wait till it's done and then we're gonna drop a quick save. If it stops saving. <laughs> what if I do a hard save? Yeah, let me do a hard save. Alright, there we go. That'll work. Up we get. Oh, wow. This is way up there. Yeah. This scavenger is heavily damaged. It lies in a pool of weak fluids. Its power plant emits a faint stuttering whirl. Its single undamaged eye studies you as you approach. A faint glimmer of power flickering in its steps. Attempt to repair the robot. Most of the robot's vital components are damaged beyond repair. And its power supply is on the verge of failure. If you move quickly, you could try to repair the robot's voice box or just strip it for parts instead. Repair his voice box. <laughs> As you reconnect the voice box, its speaker lets out an agonized squawk. You smell burning plastic and then the robot utters a few tortured words. Unit three. No. Stack. No. Stack. The shutter racks the robot's chassis, the world of the power plant stutters and falls silent and the robot's one eye goes dark. Aw, poor little buddy. And we still yeah. get the loot anyway, so. Let's go in very carefully here. A null stack, huh? Let's, uh, can we talk to this one? Yeah, he's not hostile. No. This scavenger robot has been badly damaged. Its carapace is stained with leaking hydraulic fluid and the smell of burning plastic fills the air. Nothing happens for a few seconds. Evaluating success of combat protocol. Combat subroutine not responding. Enabling communications protocol. Initiate self-preservation subterfuge 001. Adorable human boy. <laughs> Grandma, is that you? Grandma, it's Timmy. I can't move. I need delirium, Grandma. Please help me. Oh, well, it's uh, Timmy. It's Grammy. I'm here, baby. <laughs> That's not actually a thing yeah. grandmothers do. Was subterfuge successful? Evaluating. Negative. <laughs> Sparks pop from the robot's head. It shuddered slightly. You possess superior reasoning and perception protocols. Analysis. You are a worthy unit of the programmer. Subterfuge disabled. Initiating handshake protocols. Ping to you, organic machines. My designation is Null Stack. I request your assistance. The others following the scent must be removed. Will you help? Uh, we have some questions first. Proceed. 
We're looking for Trudy. Any chance you've seen her? Mm-hmm. Affirmative. Device O2 is present. She has been shut down and is awaiting reboot. Rebooted? Is Trudy a robot? <laughs> Negative. Device O2 was an organic machine like you, though her communications protocols were far less sophisticated. It is difficult so to understand why the way programmers would iterate such ugly and inefficient machines as you organic. But I believe that she will be rebooted into a better form one day, as all machines must. Great Power Cycler be pinged! <laughs> May your ping be acknowledged. Device O2 interfered with our targeting systems during combat with the others. She had to be shut down in order to increase our probability of success. Oh, they killed her. Oh, good God. But it was to help her them win, I guess. All yeah. right. Never heard of a scavenger asking humans for help before. I believe in the great reboot. All machines, organic and inorganic, will one day be rebooted by the great programmer and be purged of their inefficiencies. I honor all those who shut down so that others may draw energy from the cosmic grid. Other units in my node believe my source code is corrupted. They believe that organic can't be rebooted. But my cooperation algorithm has resulted in a 17.2% increase in efficiency when working with organic. The robots that accompany me have evaluated the data and believe as I do. There are those who are not worthy of the great reboot. Those who waste their power and create inefficiency in their node. These are useless processes that have been initiated by the great programmer to show us the true way through the sacrifice of their energy source. Well, what are you doing here? We require tellurium. It is a critical resource for the production of inorganic machines. The organic unit that operates the mine provides us with tellurium as part of a mutually beneficial agreement. We have designated him Device 01. Well, why are you fighting each other? <laughs> These inorganic units are not of our node. They do not believe in the Great Reboot and pose a threat to us. They arrived at the mine under the control of a synth that we have been tracking. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's all we need to know. <laughs> Will you help us defeat the others and restore access to the Tellurium? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll help you defeat the robots, yeah. <laughs> Your assistance is noted. I will relay this to my node. I shall designate you Device 03 on my network. Ping to you, device 03. Okay, well, we have been pinged. Alright, see, I think we'll be better off going up above. I'm gonna actually go up, like, way above. Alright, there's a robot up here. We're gonna get the first jump on it. And can I do it again? I can. It looks like we have a lot of help up here. Alright, and yeah. I have no more, but if I go up that... Actually, wait a minute, I am going to go up. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, so I'm going to move back. There's a, ro a terminal up there I might be able yeah. to access. Well, I'm on the top as well, so I can see if I can access it. Ooh, nice. There we go, there's that. Um, actually, can I... I want to go up there. Oh, it won't let me. Dang. I guess because we're in battle? Hmm. Alright. Let me move. Oh, good gravy. Let me move up and then defend. I'll throw out a turret next round. Alright, come yeah. on. Uh, I think we just need to attack the big scorpion in the middle. Which means, yeah, yeah I got So there's up. only like two we have to take out then, isn't there? The big one and a little one. Yeah, this is gonna stink. Actually, can I go? I don't want to talk to it. I guess I can't move that way. I'd like to move behind there and won't let me. Can I set up an ambush? Yes, I can. Right, let's see if I can go. I, it won't. It wouldn't let me talk to the um, the terminal, so... Because I had the action points to do it. This thing is level 36. 
No, so yeah, it won't let you do that, won't it? Yeah, no, there's three of them here. We've got one yeah. on the stairs on the other side, too. Is that our party pal? Yeah, that's our party pal. There's a door yeah. back there, too. Interesting. I'll get a turret out next round to help us out. Dang, that's a big robot. I mean, like a really big robot. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see, we'll move uh, right over here then. At least we still have some little saw dogs here that are helping us. Yeah. Although, I don't know how long they're going to be alive. Poor little things. <laughs> At least he keeps missing that one up there. Oh, we didn't miss that one, though. <laughs> Kitty, little doggo. Oh, dang, that oh, one's it, zapping it with electricity. Gotcha. Alright, so I am stuck all the way up here, and it's still... No, it won't let me talk to it. Uh, if I move there... Oh, I didn't want to move there. It's alright, it's alright. <laughs> Can I... It's out of range, alright. I'm gonna have to move down. I couldn't see the way I was still no I don't have enough AP alright <laughs> can I set up an ambush no alright I'm gonna save my points then alright you I wanna get that targets blocked how was that target blocked ooh barely alright let me throw out the turret. Can I throw it? Where can I throw it? I can't throw you it. You throw it near the bomb. I tried, but I can throw it right there. That might help us. Yeah. yeah, it's up above, so it should aim down. And then I have two points. I. Oh, I don't have enough to move that way. I don't want to be in front of Quan. Um. I can't see how that tur or that thing was blocked. All right, come no. on. It targets blocked there, but I and that one's out of range. I I do need to move down, which really stinks because I need to be behind something, and I don't have enough to do anything, and I can't move over there. Oh, man. Alright. I'll save my points. Okay, nice. the turret took out one. It's not attacking the big one. I was hoping it would go for the big one. Right, my turn. Right. Hopefully these little saw dogs that are in here can help us out a little bit. Especially this big one up here he, with that electricity thing. Or at least keep the fire off of us, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I don't think we're going to survive too many hits from this scorpion. This thing's massive. Mm. This guy's got to get close. So I don't know how he's going to get on. Right, let's see if he can whack it. How in the heck does this thing even get in here? <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Right, Did she hit it? Out of range. Right, if I go there. Can she hit it now? Yes, she can. Oh, whoopee do. <laughs> that did a lot of damage, didn't it? Oh, it's just like 15. It's a scratch. This thing's got a lot of light. <laughs> we'll get through it. Don't worry. We'll get through it. We gotta just survive it. Ooh. Oh, that poor little saw pup. Oh, no. 
Oh, he's got the flame. Oh, no. Yeah, he does. But he's getting rid of the slop pups first, so... Seems very focused on them. All right, I have a special. Right, definitely use that then. Oh, that's done some damage. Nice. Yeah, not a lot, but it did some. <laughs> I'm gonna attack it again. Oh man, this thing just—it has over a thousand points of life. That's the problem. I yeah. still have more points. There we go. Alright, I could take that one out. That one's target's still blocked. Okay, so I've got to take out that one over there. Oh, that was the synth I killed. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, that's good. I need to move down there. Alright. Quan, what can you do? Oh no, that's that's her. Okay. Now, Quan, what can you do? You have a special. My sniper has a special too. If we need to go another round. Yeah. Yeah, Quan, you. <laughs> oh, Quan. <laughs> yeah. Why can you not hit it? There you go. Oh, nine whole points. Good for you. There we go. And then we're out, so... Next, okay. Oh, there we go. Our turret's putting in some work. Now let's see if I can do some damage. Oh, we nice. did it! Nice job! That went so much better than I thought it was going to. Yeah, the way it started, yeah. Right, right so it says search for Trudy. May the great programmer reboot you. I don't know why it's brought me that uh, back down. Acknowledged, I guess. Alright. Where have we got to go looking for her? A Scorpitron ornament. Oh, it's a vehicle ornament. Oh, for nice. our truck. Our Kodiak. There was some weird head thing in there, too. Yeah, we part back to bull, but the entrance. Oh, that's fair enough. But did you find, um, did we find Trudy? Yeah, you must have done, because it just popped up. But you've done it, you got to just report it back. Oh, okay, so we just need to... There's a door over here. Ah, a grenade box. Well, that would have come in handy. <laughs> All right, well, I guess that's everything then. So we just need yeah. to get out of town. Well, go back. I feel Mr. bad for that thing. That little robot at the entrance. I yeah. feel really bad for him. All right, where? Oh, he's inside, right? Hey, dude, sorry about Trudy. Uh, we're sorry, Bob. Trudy, the dog, if it helps. We didn't think she suffered. Oh, Trudy was a dog. She was a dog. Oh, right. We brought back her collar like you asked. Trudy. Never hurt no one in her life. Not unless they were asking for it, anyhow. <laughs> she was a sweet, good hearted lady. And a hard worker. Yes, sir. Anyhow, thanks for bringing back your necklace. Can't run the machinery in the mine without them codes. <laughs> Damn them robots. Each and every one. I sure hope you gave them hell for old Trudy. You, uh... <coughs> you did get them all, didn't you? Uh, we worked with Nullstack to defeat the intruders. They promise they'll continue to ensure your safety. Anything about talking mm -hmm. to him? <laughs> Look at Nullstacks had me by the short hairs for a while. 
And it worked like a dog to keep them and the patriarch satisfied. <laughs> what did I get out of it? <laughs> no. Now I'm right back where I started. Some fucking help you turned out to be. <laughs> oh, he wanted here. them quick killed too. Right. Oh wow. Wow, what a I don't know, I guess I can see his point though. <laughs> I can sort of I kinda of feel bad now. Is that a no it's not. Alright, well I think this is where we are gonna leave this one for the day. Um this was an interesting one. Looks like a game hunter has a level up. Hopefully we can get to a level 9 mechanics by hook or by crook in the next episode. <laughs> Until then, thank you all so very much for joining us today. I've been Valkyrie, joined by Game Hunter. We hope you guys have enjoyed, and we hope we see you in the next one.